Welcome to this week's episode of FYI. I'm your host, Doreen Barnes. In the studio with me are two artists, and they happen to be uh, Linda Mary as well as Nancy Holmes. And we're going to find out about a, a new group of artists. Ladies, welcome to the program. Thank you. So tell me, what is this new group of artists? Okay. So uh, the name of the group is Cornerstone Artistry Guild. Okay. And I am the founder of this group. Uh, the reason that I wanted to develop this group was more of a play it forward. So um, I've been an artist all my life, but uh, since retiring, I've taken it up the brush full more time. full time. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I was just happened, to, I just only painted at my home, and I just happened to meet Linda Mary. Who lives down the street and is a beautiful artist and she happened to see my work and say nancy why are you not showing your work and i didn't believe that i had enough talent because i am self-taught yes. and she said you certainly do Aww. so through linda's inspiration and support i have able to participate in uh, shows uh, of larium which was at the aquatarium and had some success selling my work. I've also Good. sold my work internationally uh, to California and the Czech Republic uh, through Facebook. Nice. So through um, my journey, I have come across a lot of artists that just paint in their homes. Just for the enjoyment just of it? Just for the enjoyment of it. Oh. And um, so we have like 20 now amazing people that I just wanted to play it forward and bring them out and, and let Brockville see what talent we have. I, I know that we have talent mm -hmm. here in Brockville. We have all kinds of talent, and you're quite right. It, uh, yeah, it's an in, in abundance. It really mm -hmm. is. So um, the the guild will be having an, an art show, right? Yes, we are. We were invited uh, downtown to the street closures, and so they uh, are on July fifteenth. Yes, uh, is uh, actually uh, um, Christmas in July, is the theme. Uh, August nineteenth is Dog Days of Summer. And then September 16th, we'll be participating in, participating in King West Art Festival, wow. which replaces Culture Days. Yes, of course. So we've had you know a lot of opportunity um, through that uh, to these through these venues, and I um, will be looking you know different places to uh, take the artists that join, and um, actually we were looking at. Uh, we don't really do a commission right at this point, but the artists have decided we'd like to do a commission, but give it to local charities in Brockville. So a food bank and Oh, different. that's wonderful. And that's a great way to get exposure out there yes. too, is to have the art, you know, in, uh, in places that, that people will see it. Mm -hmm. So tell us about uh, July 15th now. What, what time should... Um, so Ju July 15th yes. is the street sale, the street right. closure. So it starts at 10 to 4. 10 to 4, okay. Uh, we are located at the West End uh, of Brockville because okay. the West End is known as the, the uh, art district. Oh, is it? Yes. Okay. Um, so we're right in front of, uh, I don't know where the address, but we are located right in front of the liquor store. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, people <laughs> yeah. will know. People <laughs> yeah, will know, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so how many um, how many artists will be will be showing their work? How many are I I believe we have 10 this time. Yes. The, the, the unique thing about my group is that there's no fee. So it's just artists come forward. I, I find the venue and they're all invited. Aww. So, you know, with life and family commitments and stuff, it's nice that, you know, the, the artists can say, well, yes, I'd like to participate. And, you know, I'm not able to participate this time. So it's a time. different group, yeah. you know, it could be a different, different group of, uh, of artists each month. Okay. Do you have a list of, of the, uh, the the names of the individuals that will be with you? Do you happen to have that with you? If it's okay. No, no, it's all right. It's fine. No, it's fine. No, don't don't worry. No. no, no, no. You will be there. I'll be there. And Linda Mary will be there. Yeah, okay. So um, are, are these the art that's going to be on display? Can you tell us a little bit about it? Are we going to see oils, watercolors? What are we going to see? A little bit of everything, I would expect, that's, okay. which is kind of good. What are you bringing? I'm bringing several different mediums. Oh, you are? Yeah, okay. I like to play around with different things. So <laughs> I do have some watercolors. Yes. I have some pen and ink drawings that some of them have watercolor in with them as well. I've got acrylics. Uh, we have people that do all kinds of things, mixed media, um, print, print making, mm -hmm. all sorts of stuff. So there'll be oils. Uh, pastels. I think one of the pictures that yes. we brought for today's viewing is a beautiful pastel. 
done by one of the new members who has never shown before. Never shown yeah. before. No, there again, a home, right? Yeah. A home, yeah. A home yeah. body, yeah. yeah. So um, let, let's talk about the art that you did bring. So please, please tell us what you brought. Well, I know about the one with the wolf on it because okay. I saw it last night. Yes. <laughs> but today I'm going to have to pass over to Nancy because I don't know what she's got wrapped up there. All right, then okay. let's find so out. Let's okay, find so out um, um, no, I'm just trying to think of the gentleman's name now. Um, It'll come to you. Anyway, we have a, uh, I found a gentleman actually out at uh, Graham Lake. Yes. And uh, he had been painting for 40 years but never shown his work. So he's done a beautiful wolf in pastel. Wow. And he works in different mediums. Yes. He also paints, which is coming to King Street, in stone slabs. <laughs> and they're like amazing, like for your garden. And he'll be bringing a few of the slabs mm -hmm. with him onto King Street. That's popular right now, is it not? I'm seeing on, on Facebook and different different um, uh, websites, stones, the painting on, yes. on the stones and things yes, like that. So it is, it's very popular. Yeah. Yes. yes. I oh. did those for 25 years. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't do them anymore. Well, now they're <laughs> popular. I know. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Other you, people can you've do done it. enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, what else have you brought then? So I brought uh, uh, Jeremy Snelson. Now, Jeremy has been uh, uh, in Brockville all his life. He took some courses at St. Lawrence College. Uh, Jeremy's work hangs and can be purchased at the copy shop on Per Street. Uh, he's amazing. He's mm -hmm. absolutely amazing artist. He works in different, and again, he's just working in his little apartment, and he does amazing work. Amazing, and he works in different mediums. Okay. Uh, we have uh, Shalene Joseph, who does uh, water, uh, color, and ink, mm -hmm. and um, she is self-taught. Um, we also have my daughter, yes, Ainsley Holmes, and she is a stippling artist. So stippling oh. is, is creations that she makes just by using small dots. Yeah. Amazing. This it's like is point great. Right. Right. Is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Looking forward to seeing this. And yeah. then we have Jan uh, Travisy, who is a fine um, artist. She took, uh, she owns a degree and she works in all different kinds of mediums. And in fact, one of the paintings I brought today with me uh, was from her trip from France. She went to see the lavender fields and oh. got some inspiration. So Jan is uh, amazing, very talented. And, and all this time they've been keeping things under wrap. They should have been showing, right? Well, it's a matter of coming oh. out yes. and, and just, and, and coming out and approaching these people uh, like, Morris, who I found at Graham Lake, he just had some stones out of his trailer. Mm -hmm. And I stopped and talked to him and, and he showed me his work. And I, I said to him, like, have you never shown your work? And he said, I've never been given the opportunity. So that's oh. what my guild is about. I want to give the artist the opportunity to come forth and show the work. And it's just a play it forward. So uh, the art that, that will be available on the 15th, mm -hmm. it is for sale. Yes. And uh, not uh, will uh, the uh, all the artists they won't be there all at the same time, will they? Yes, they will. Oh, they will be. Mm -hmm. Okay, so people can actually talk right yes. to the artists yes. and ask questions about mm -hmm. their work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amazing. And Which they will is... also take commissions if anybody wanted. I mean, last time I was down there in June twenty seventh, I got a commission to do uh, a painting of um, an individual's cottage. Okay. So, you know, there's a lot of artists that will do commission, so. So, uh, um, you have landscape that you've, you've brought today. You have the wolf. The wolf, yes. And you have uh, the stippling. What is that? Uh, is that like an abstract type of painting? No, like, I the don't stippling know to... is actually a poodle. A poodle, okay. okay. All right, so uh, another uh, animal. And what, what, the lavender field, and what's the other one? Well, it's a picture of St. Lawrence River. It's a skiff on the St. Lawrence River. Oh, they, yeah, they used to build a skiff here too, yeah. if I remember rightly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. That, that's nice, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's move uh, forward a little bit more and talk about the next, in August, yes. I think it's the 19th. Yes. You will be- No, the next is July, yeah, July, July 15th. July 15th, yes. and then the next one is Saturday, the 19th of August. Yes. Where will you be then? The same place. Same place. We're always in the same place. Oh, you are. Yes, that so makes the, it easy. It's kind of set up by the uh, the DBIA. Okay. So they're just sort of you know 
giving us places. So right. um, amazing. Like we'll, we'll probably be there every year Aww. that they've offered us to come there. And That's so nice. it's fantastic. Now, will you have different artists at that particular show? Yes. You will. We'll have some. Uh, me and Linda will probably be at all of them. There's some that want to participate in all of them. Some of them, because it's new, like they're on vacation or yes, whatever yes, so yes, there, yes there will be a different few different artists so next year when you do this right right yes they will be prepared they'll know ahead of time oh yes. i have to be ready for that and i have to have x number yes. of of, um, of artwork to present and the one thing too about having lots of different people come is that if the customers come every time they're not going to see the same work They'll see no, work by different people, right. different works by the people that they met the first time. So it, you know, it gives a variety too. To and and I find too that I I I'm I'm not an artist. Okay, let's be honest here. I'm not. Stick people is the farthest I get. Okay, so um, <laughs> but when I see a painting, I can tell right away whether I like that. Mm -hmm. Are, are, do you find that you're the same way? I know you're artists, but do you find that it's the same way with you people, or, or do you have to study the 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 piece first? Oh no, you, you just never study right the piece no. first. No. It should hit you right here. Okay, and that's what you want. You want to say, "I love that." You know, it's just it. Is there something about it? I don't know what it is, but I just love that. Right. And that's the kind of person that wants to buy it when they yeah. when they get that feeling. And I think that's important to instinctively, mm -hmm. intuitively just know that that's for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then you can go up close and look at the brush stroke. But, <laughs> <laughs> but as we say, with every artist, you know, wherever they are in their journey, and, and yes. I've talked to many artists, there's there's beauty and flaws too. Well, of course. Yeah. yeah. Of course. So, yeah. You know, sometimes you do a fond and think, you know what? Remember. Just leave it. Just <laughs> it just adds character. Of course it does. And yeah. 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 Even my stick people would <laughs> be <laughs> interesting. Mm -hmm. And also, let yes. me tell you, you probably can draw and paint. I used to do intuitive art classes and people would always say exactly what you just said. I can't draw anything. Mm -hmm. But they'd come anyway and try it out and they were pretty amazed with what they created and some of them have them hanging on their living room walls. Aww. So everybody has that ability to create. It'll all be to, different, but yes. everybody's got that. Okay, so it just has to be pulled out, okay. like what you're doing with new artists right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it's nice to to realize that there is that much talent in this area, yes. and that people have been doing it for years, mm -hmm. just for the their own pleasure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Anything else, ladies, that you would like our viewers to know about your upcoming art show and sale? Um, just come on. If it out. rains, I guess we can't do it. Okay, did they tell you that there, there would be a rain? Yeah. Well, the, the street yeah. closure doesn't do rain dates, as no. we know. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it proceeds with rain. But, I mean, we're going to be dealing with uh, quite a few feet of grid. So it would be possible to shelter our work. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's something, unfortunately, that we wouldn't be able to participate. You wouldn't be able to participate in any art show. No. In the rain. Not, Not unless we had a tent. One. That, we, you know, yeah. we don't have a big enough no. tent to, to shelter. That's no, that, that's quite understandable. If yeah. it rains, it's a no-go. But uh, but you'll be there yes. in August. Yes. That's right. So, they, you know, they're not going to miss out. They can mm -hmm. still come out. Mm -hmm. Anything else, ladies, before we close this off? So if anybody wants, uh, we have developed a Facebook page. Okay. So the artists are, well, they'll be coming online. I, I just did it uh, three days ago. We already have 60 followers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so as new artists come aboard, uh, come we're inviting them, like, contact me if you'd like to participate, if you'd like to get on the face page and just view the beautiful work. All the work that's usually uh, posted is available, so you just contact the artist. And uh, what's, yeah. the, what's the address? How yes, please. Oh, page? it's a Cornerstone Artistry Guild. Okay. Just the name. Yeah. Just the name. Just the name. And uh, so they can contact you through? They can contact me through that, okay. that face awesome. page. And uh, like I said, we welcome all artists. There's no fee. It's like I said, it's a play it forward. I just, I really enjoy helping people. And um, it's amazing when, you know, you approach somebody who's never done it before and they're so excited. I mean, I have a few people coming down here uh, onto the street sale that are, you know, never shown work before. Aww. So 
So come on out and have a look. Yes. Ladies, thank you ever so much. Thank I you. really appreciate that. And I'm so glad that you started this. Thank and you. I'm glad that you approached people that have never shown their yes. work before. Because there are some amazing people out there that are better than strict people. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, ladies.